video, I'm going to talk about how to outline a novel with an example. Now, if you've watched my previous uh, video, there I have explained to you the process and uh, different steps to take in order to outline a novel. So here in this video, I will be using a live example and that is the example of my upcoming novel, Butterflies in the Storm. So Butterflies in the Storm is a contemporary romance novel and um, the main idea behind this book went something like this. Rhea, an 18 year old girl, is determined to confront the odds in her life and be somebody, somebody who is uh, financially independent, somebody who is a successful um, career woman as she struggles through the ill treatment of her family and rises above the resentment and envy of her peers. So the idea for this novel came to me in the form of an image of that of an 18 year old girl Rhea. So she's the main protagonist of the novel. So from this main idea, um, you brainstorm different ideas as it comes to you. So Rhea is somebody who has no parents and she lives with her aunt and her brother. So I brainstormed different um, ideas in the form of a cluster diagram in the beginning. So I will show you my diary where I have outlined this novel and the way I have brainstormed different ideas and um, jotted down points and outlined the entire novel. So this is my uh, diary to have a look. So these are the different screenshots of the diary. So as you can see here, I have drawn the cluster diagram. So the main central cluster is about Rhea and how she is connected to different characters, her different relationships with them, different situations. And each of the uh, clusters have um, a rough sketch of each of the character traits and their relationships and so on. Uh, then in the second page, I further build up uh, Rhea's ca character, which is again in a cluster diagram and um, what happens, different situations in her life. So everything is very rough. Um, small, small points as it came to me, small, small ideas, very sketchy. So in the second page, I talk about more details about Rhea, uh, what she does, where she goes, who are her friends, what happens to her. So very rough ideas, small, small pointers, nothing is uh, too much related whatever comes to me so I go in detail about Rhea so then next what I do is um, quickly jot down about um, her life her character situation um, as the ideas come to a free flowing of ideas from that cluster I write as you can see on my, um, this is written as my third page. So I just keep writing about her, go on writing whatever comes to me. Then again, I draw a class of different characters in Rhea's life. Um, I write about each of them in a page. So here, yeah, everything is very rough and I'm, I'm not neat in my work. And whatever comes to me, I just keep mapping uh, the ideas, the relationships in the form of a cluster diagram or um, in the form of a, a page, go on writing uh, line after line, line after whatever comes to me. Then after this, I use my writing program to create the number of chapters most likely I might need for the novel. I write about the first chapters that have been formed while creating the summary. Um, I write uh, a few lines of each of the main characters. I also use my writing journal in the beginning and write uh, my word goal. So this is my word goal. 
Then I write a one or two line summary for each of the chapters. Writing helps me to get more ideas and scenes for my story. Then get into some free flow writing or seat by the pants writing. So as you can see, this is my uh, journal where I have written all my ideas about this book, different pages about each of the chapters. I'll be um, whatever ideas come to me, whether in short bouts or in, in longer details, I'll be writing each of the chapters in detail. Some chapters don't write, require too much writing and some chapters need proper plotting, proper brainstorming because there might be some intricacy or some suspense which need to be jotted out in a proper sequence. I uh, then transfer these notes to my space jog software usually and write in the notes section. Then each of the chapters I develop from the summary. Sometimes I might develop the summary into more details as you can see here. I usually write in a word document and then transfer it into a space jog program so that I know how many words I've covered so far and it's more organized. I can also add notes about the characters or locations or scenes in different sections of the software. Usually I will develop scenes in a chapter from just a summary which might be just four or five lines but if the chapter is intricate and has some suspense, scandal or scam kind of elements then I might develop it into a summary of one or two pages. For example, um, this chapter 21, you can see for example, chapter 21, you can see how much I have um, outlined uh, the steps in a sequence. Or um, chapter 20, you can see how much details I've written here. Or again, chapter 22, all rough ideas in details. Again, these are different summaries of the ending chapters. You can see they are not very neat. Whatever comes to me, go on writing, go on brainstorming, ideas, detailing, expanding, and so on. So in this manner, I complete all the chapters and complete my first draft. Usually, I have three main drafts and finalize everything in the fourth draft. Fourth draft will have one or two more edits till my manuscript is complete and I send it to my professional editor for further edits. After editing is done by my editor, we discuss back and forth on different parts of the book and I make changes accordingly wherever necessary. And then um, after she has done the final edit, the book is ready for publishing. So that's about on how I completed my novel Butterflies in the Storm. It is in the final stages of publication. Uh, let me also give you a live view of my Garfield diary. So you will have a three dimensional view of this book. Uh, so this is the diary where I have outlined my novel Butterflies in the Storm. It is one of my favorite diaries. It's a Garfield diary filled with Garfield cartoons. Very cute book. I love the look of it, love the feel of it. Very inspiring to write. So here I begin with writing the title of my book and the genre. So it gives me a good feel about it. It just uh, when the nascent idea had come to me. Just the beginning of an idea. So here I have written the word count. The words required and how many chapters it will have and how many words will be there in each of the chapters and different uh, phases of writing first phase second phase third phase how many chapters in each phase and how what would be the probable word count in each of the chapters and so on so then so then i begin with ria and her family and what kind of things will happen what kind of situations that uh, I envisage at that time on what I want. Everything is very rough, very sketchy and uh, um, just um, rough ideas of the different chapters just written in one line just to get, get, get the feel of the idea and whatever the story came to me as. So go on brainstorming ideas, writing down points, outlining. So emphasis on some of the chapters 
um, some detailing of the chapters or some of the subplots and all I mean so here it goes writing here as you can see chapter 7 to 16 word count 20,000 each chapter 2,000 words so a lot of scribbling and a lot of writing not very neat you can see so some points which came to me which I had to note down then some chapter if I want some extra details whatever the, if the idea came to me too strongly and I thought it had to be sequenced properly So chapter 20, it, uh, it had a lot of details. It was a very intricate chapter. So a lot of writing down and thinking and detailing. It was not seen by the pants writing for chapter 20. So some of the chapters won't be seen by the pants writing. It would be a lot of detailing. So you can see here. A lot of writing in between whatever thoughts came to me. Sometimes it might go back and forth. It, not, it might not be sequential. So, so in each of the chapters I write a summary. So I have a clue of what I am going to write next. And have a certain structure of the novel. Otherwise it's like a uh, lot of grappling around. And very scattered with your thoughts. And you don't have a direction. So this is about it. So Butterflies in the Storm, as I already gave some pointers, is about an 18-year-old girl, Ria Siddhant, whose life is no cakewalk, growing up without parents and living on the charity of relatives. Ria has many struggles in her life and she has to cope with financial struggles, manipulative aunts, jealous cousins and a controlling brother. But Ria takes it all with her stoicism and wisdom, quite unnatural for a budding teen as young as her and silently pursues her dreams with grit and determination. In spite of the unending challenges in her life, she excels in academics and becomes a school topper that helps her earn a scholarship in one of the most prestigious universities in the country. Life finally looks good as she enjoys every moment in the university, besides being one of the all-rounders of their batch. But soon her brains and beauty catches many an eye, making her a victim of jealousy and malice. Especially when one of the eligible bachelors in the city, Aditya Sarin, starts falling in love with her. Rhea realizes that there are devious minds set to frame her in a game of deceit and revenge. A family drama coupled with fun and romance with Rhea's friends at the university campus while at other times unnerving with suspense and intrigue. So follow Ria's journey as she battles the adversaries in her life and overcomes every challenge to become a woman of substance. So watch out for this release. It's called Butterflies in the Storm, a contemporary romance novel. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Do not forget uh, to like and comment and also do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.